Hey foodies, Lisa here, and with this awesome weather outside, it's time for some great food. And we're gonna check out Hummus Express, a locally inspired Mediterranean kitchen. And the owner and chef here is a graduate of Scottsdale Community College. Let's go grab a bite. Eddie Hantas, and you at home, everyone, welcome to Chef's Menu. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. With a food truck and a restaurant and all this good food in front of me, people love it here. Yeah, we're very fortunate to have a successful business in Tempe, Arizona. So that sandwich you made me this morning was amazing. Oh my gosh, the ingredients are all really fresh and honestly, just the flavors are fantastic. As soon as you take a bite of that, it's like, oh, it's so flavorful in your mouth. It's like, it's, it's exploding. So you're a graduate of SCC in 2011 and 2012. Many of us would be like, what, you're opening a business? Yes, I opened my business in 2012 after going to SCC, learning baking, hot food, garmage. It's a, such a great program, gave me a lot of confidence. But you opened your restaurant because of why? There was a demand for healthy food and I lost my job. My back was against the wall, so I went for it. Was there something that in your head where you're like, Mediterranean, that's what I want to do. It was the eggplant pea that I used to eat at home that had hummus in it and wanted to share that with everybody. So it did have a little bit of hummus? It did have a hummus. <laughs> what was that? I thought you were telling me hummus is an American thing, right? The flavored hummus is definitely an American thing. Ah, Back in the Middle that. East, it's just the uh, classic hummus. And let's take a look how to make classic hummus. Time to make ginger lemon hummus using our classic hummus with these two ingredients. Yes, we have the uh, ground turmeric, which makes it yellow, and the ground ginger. So we have a teaspoon of turmeric, another teaspoon of ginger. I like ginger, so I put more. You can smell it. it smells good. More hummus for you, the grilled zucchini, dried oregano. With parsley, let's okay. add the zucchini. I like zucchini, so I'm gonna be generous. Dried oregano, I'm gonna do an ounce. And well, how about you add the parsley? Okay. Dump it in. That works for me. Eddie, my favorite, the roasted red pepper hummus with that special ingredient. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have cumin powder today. Drop so it right in. Add the cumin, add the red pepper, and now we blend. <laughs> You know, it's very easy and it's very shareable. A lot of Mediterranean food is all about sharing. Hummus is all family style, so I think that's what makes it really neat. Well, Eddie, I had a blast learning how to make hummus today, and there's so many different types of dishes. Yes, we have ginger lemon with grilled chicken, the red pepper with the eggplant, and the carrots and the zucchini hummus. What's your best seller? Falafels. Ooh, that sounds good to me. Well, I know I cannot eat all of this. I don't think you can either, right? Lots of deliciousness. We need help. <laughs> we need help. Come on in, guys. Hey, Nick. He's an SEC wow. student, right? Yep. Ah, take your dibs. Mmm, 